know. You probably know them. <laughs> for today's video we are gonna be doing a bomb ass video i wanted to do a story time because y'all been asking for more story times as you know it's 2019 coming vlogmas and i just want to give y'all different videos for this month and today i went to the cheesecake factory because my bitch was acting like a fucking granny when i got there so i had to just order my food to go and take my ass back home because my bitch is a granny so i'm like you know what i'm just gonna eat with my bitches because what the fuck like miss one 15 one coming what's what's that <laughs> what is that i forgot it's like miss 115 whatever but y'all my bitches so y'all the next 15 come okay so we about to eat these chicken wings and asparagus a little asmr in here or whatever because i don't know i don't know but yo let's just get into the video this is what i got i got some cheese back there. and of course there's a bread in my bag and i feel like that so i'm not eating it so i'm just got some Asparagus. I don't know if y'all are into that, but I like asparagus. Let me open these wings. They smell so good. Oh my god. I haven't had buffalo wings in a while. Let me take a thumbnail. It'll be good. <laughs> but yeah, we're just gonna get right into it. I'm gonna tell y'all story time while I eat. But first, I want to take a bite because this is hungry. It's been day six. <sighs> I got my hair done today y'all it's gonna be a whole video up on this and i vlog today too obviously because basically today is vlogmas day two but i vlogged day one but i don't want to upload i don't want to upload just vlogs for vlogmas like i want to upload like all types of videos but i'm about to eat some asparagus and i do dip it in ranch mm. a little bit of asmr Yeah, I gotta eat some food. So, <laughs> I'm gonna tell y'all a story time. I was, uh huh, let me check my boat. <laughs> I'm gonna tell y'all a story time that really happened to me because I've been coming across so many fuckboys lately. Like, what the fuck? Like, what is God trying to tell me? Like, what are what are you trying to say? Like, am I some lame-ass bitch that can't get a nigga? Like, what the fuck? Like, because today, I don't know if y'all follow me on Instagram, but I posted um, a text message conversation that I was having with this boy because he hit me up on Instagram and he was like, he's like a professional basketball player or whatever. And like, um, like, we was talking for a little bit. Like, we was texting. I wouldn't even say talking. Don't ever get that confused, boo. His number, and we were just texting over there. This shit get me tight. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we were just texting or whatever. And um, one day I just stopped texting him. Like, if you just, I really have a short attention span. But yeah, we were texting or whatever. And one day i was we wasn't i just stopped texting him or whatever and one day i just went to his instagram because i didn't follow him he just came across my page obviously and he just wrote me and um i had looked at his insta snap and it was some girl on there i was like okay well i don't give a fuck like we don't even text no more i don't care so he texted me literally today this morning he was like good morning I was like, hey, good morning, whatever. And then I was like, so, who is that girl on your Insta snap? He like, what you mean? I was like, the girl on your Insta snap, like, she was white. <laughs> he was like, she's not white. And he was like, yeah, I've been home or something. I'm trying to change the subject. And I was like, who is that girl to you? And he was like, oh, that's my girl. And I was like, oh okay i'm gonna post a conversation right here i was like oh okay 
well I don't do that like I don't t talk to people um with girlfriends or whatever and he was like oh um, okay so he was like why not and then I was like the fuck like bye like never like I don't care like how many how much I don't care who you are what you think you can do for me or how much money you think you got I do not I don't date nobody with no girlfriend like I would never do that mm -mm. that's just not me mm -mm. I can't be no side bitch you know but anyways I'm gonna tell y'all that was just a little story time from today but I'm gonna tell y'all about this situation that I was in but I'm gonna take a few pieces of, of my chicken first before I tell y'all because I don't want to eat with my mouth open I'm in my mouth. Whatever. Why restaurants gotta be so petty with this fuck? You know what? I think this is blue cheese. This is definitely blue cheese. Ew. This shit is so bad. But I don't know about this blue cheese though. Comment down below if you like blue cheese or ranch. I like ranch. <coughs> I like ranch. Merch is my shit. And y'all are probably going to ask. This is a closure. And it's pretty big. Hold on. I can't believe people actually have a big ass mic in front of them chewing. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, let me go get my ranch. Got the ranch. <laughs> you know. <laughs> whatever so yeah put that right there and I got a water too y'all all I drink is water fun fact oh my god I like room temperature water but when I'm real thirsty um I love cold water let me just take a few more bites of my chicken. <laughs> do y'all like flats or do y'all like wings? I like all flats, but I don't know if the Cheesecake Factory does that. But look it. So good. Oh my god. I haven't ate all day, y'all. So this is like heaven to me. So. This is so good. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. I'm probably gonna crop some of this shit out, honestly. Okay, so. Yeah, what? Okay, so let's get into the story time because that's what y'all here for. Because I know y'all fucking nosy because, bitch, I be nosy too. I don't care. So I want to know all the tea, though. <laughs> okay, so literally this happened like a couple months ago. Um, ugh, I feel like I got shit up in my tea. That's going to be so embarrassing.
anyways so this literally happened in like <clears throat> the summertime when I was the first fish in the sea you know and this boy me and this boy knew each other from like three years prior um yeah because he went to jail or something and this was when like back when I was living back in my hometown so it was like three years and I think he went to jail for like three years and so he got out or whatever and um he hit me up and you know we were t texting and stuff like that talking and I seen him once um during the summer because he was in like Chicago doing a video for like Netflix or something and mind y'all this is like I thought he had some money I thought he had a coin like I thought he was good like like set so I'm like okay like what's up so and I've been knew him so it was just like whatever like okay so we was getting to know each other type shit because we wasn't able to because right when I first met him he went to jail like two days later when we were supposed to kick it so it was just like you know I don't know so obviously I was on his mind when he was in jail because baby he, when he got out he was like where you asses and I'm like here what's up <laughs> cause he was he got signed to like this big whatever so I'm like okay he got coin whatever whatever so I met up with him one time he was in Chicago um filming some movie or something so he told me to come there and I was already up there cause I was at this room of London event um so yeah that was that and then um so then a couple like these dudes I'll talk to them but it's nothing consistent and that's what I'm saying when I don't know like when I'm going to find somebody that's going to be consistent and like a vibe with me you know and if I don't feel like that vibe with you I, wouldn't, I don't care like I don't give a fuck if you don't text me don't text me whatever don't talk to me that's fine like if I don't vibe with you like that and I haven't found anybody I vibe with like that yet like to give a fuck about but then again I don't know if I even give a fuck about having a relationship right now because right now my focus is YouTube school and yeah so but anyways that's getting beside the point whatever so literally like okay like a couple weeks pass or whatever and like he hits me up again and he's like where you at I'm in Chicago and like Chicago is only like an hour from me so it ain't shit so I was like, oh, okay, like send me an Uber. Like I'm not, I don't be playing about shit like that. Like if you want to kick it with me, you better have my transportation. You better have my fucking um, food situation figured out, and you better have like I don't know whatever else like on you. Like I don't know. Like I just feel like if a nigga wants to get to know you and wants to be with you or whatever and he's he put that um effort in to like reach out first like to want to get to know you i feel like these niggas should you know have all, everything situated whatever okay like i'll come but you need to send me an uber or something because i'm not driving there no so then he was like okay let me see if i can um find somebody to give me an uber to come get you and it was only a hundred dollars for like a uber or whatever so and it was raining real bad or something like that i don't feel like driving like it was horrible so i'm like i'm not driving like if you want to see me you'll send for me like if you if any nigga wants to see you from out of the states or whatever you need to get flued out yes flued out and you need to have that nigga send for you because it, no don't be no britney renner okay do not be her so don't pay for your own flight so so anyway so so then okay so he was like okay i'm gonna call you back and i'm gonna see if somebody can um get you an uber because i don't have a credit card or something to get an uber and i'm like okay bet whatever because you know hood niggas they don't never got no fucking credit they don't never have no fucking debit card like i don't know mm -mm. I don't know but he like was in the industry getting a coin so I'm like why wouldn't you have your own account but whatever so I'm like okay bet whatever so then he calls me like 20 minutes later and he's like oh um nobody's able to get the uber so can you just come up here and I'm gonna give you the gas money I'm gonna give you the hundred dollars and I was like oh. 
okay whatever and at this point i'm a little freaking fresh fish in the sea i don't have no niggas to talk to i'm getting bored so i'm like okay but it like i'll just go and me and him haven't done anything so yeah my day save you poom poom nani for whoever you gonna be with okay i'm there and um i got i get there he's at the studio and i'm just like no like when i first seen him we was at the studio for like 6 a.m and then like i spent the night with him we didn't do nothing and then i went home so that was that like i thought it was gonna be the same shit like we was gonna be there at the studio for um a couple hours and then we would go to wherever the fuck he laying his head at so i'm like okay whatever so it's about like you know um, like four o'clock in the morning and at this point it just irritates me because he never said we was gonna be in the studio for this long and i was like no like why why am i here like and then when i get there i was like where is my gas money like i don't play about that shit like you and i you sh this is another thing too you should never have to remind a nigga to do what he said that he was gonna do like that's just a number one red flag for me like if you tell me that you finna do something and you don't do it like no like it's like thank you next like no like i don't play about that shit either like i should not have to remind y'all grown ass to tell me like to do what you said that you was gonna do like i don't have time for that no mm -mm. no so anyway so i'm like where is my gas money like i need my money so so he like oh baby don't trip we finna go to the um atm or whatever i was like okay whatever so it's like finna be four o'clock in the morning like we finna leave the studio right <laughs> so i'm driving my car i don't know like he said he don't have a license or something so he can't drive so i was like okay so i we was driving my car and i was driving i was like where's your hotel i'm like where's it at because i at this point i'm tired as fuck i'm ready to lay my head down like where's your where do we gotta go so he's like um i don't have a hotel i'm like hmm where are you watching me where did you wash your ass this morning like what are we doing like it's four o'clock in the morning he like come on let's just go um get a room downtown and i was like I'm thinking like nothing of it because I was thinking it was on his coin. So I'm like, okay, whatever. So we drive down there, whatever. <laughs> and then we get to the hotel. Right. <laughs> and then um, we get to the hotel. Y'all, I need to put some more of the glove on because I'm just delirious at this point. <laughs> get to the hotel. And, um,. He's like, we didn't get out the car yet. So we was just talking. I was like, so you're going to pay for this, right? Which I shouldn't even have to ask. But, you know, I had to ask because I still had to get my gas money. And he's talking about he don't got a car. And obviously you need a card on file to get a hotel room. Duh. So I'm like, so, no, I think he had asked me, did I have my car? yeah that's what he had i think he had asked me did i have my card and i was like oh so where have you been sleeping at like where have you been watching your ass and then he's like oh i just got here last night um this morning so and i was like okay so why didn't you get a hotel yet like i, I just don't get it so at this point it's like 4 a.m so i'm like fuck it like come on like i'm ready to go to sleep and he was like, I'm going to give it to you in the morning. And I was like, okay, along with my gas money, right? And he's like, yeah. So I'm like, okay, whatever. So we walk in the hotel, we get the room or whatever. So then um, at this point, I'm just like, don't, I don't even care to talk to him at this point. I just want to go to sleep, wake up and go home. So, so he gets hungry, right? mind you this nigga clearly has no money so <laughs> no cash on them because y'all i'm no all rich niggas all rich niggas they don't have no debit card but they 
have a motherfucking bankroll of money on them best believe they have that guap of money on them and he seemed to not have that so i'm like okay so we get the room whatever um and he gets hungry so he ordered a pizza or some shit like that some room service shit and i was like oh i hope that ain't getting charged to my car the fuck he like no i'm about to pay cash or whatever some shit like that and i was like where's my money like in my head I, I didn't even say nothing i was like okay whatever so the piece of man comes <laughs> so the piece of man comes right y'all this shit is so funny so the pizza man comes and this nigga literally paid he said he only had thirty dollars on him or some shit like that and that's how much the pizza was right and it was like 31 67 or some shit like that and he only had like thirty dollars on him like he literally didn't have no other money so then um he gave the pizza man thirty dollars and the pizza man was like you owe me 160 something he was like what the fuck so he was literally digging up fucking change he was literally digging up change to pay for this fucking pizza like what you don't have no money on you like in my head i'm like what the fuck because he like you don't got no cash on you i said no like no like you don't i was like you don't have no money on you like what what the fuck he like i spent all my money on that studio session man i'm like shouldn't your label be fucking spending money on you since you a so-called a rapper or some shit i don't know in my head i said that i was like since you were so called whatever he like i just spent all my money on the studio session it was like six hundred dollars and he was like i took all that money out from the atm i'm like mm, okay so then he literally gets an attitude with the fucking pizza man because he didn't have enough money to pay for the fucking pizza man so he's like what the fuck you really need this little fucking dollar and 67 cents like i'm like are you serious right now like what the fuck y'all i look like a fucking bobble here right now because my shirt is matching the wall literally got into it with the fucking pizza man because he didn't have the money and then he was like the pizza man was like you know what just don't worry about it no like he was like just over it at this point like me we was on the same vibe so literally um i was like i'm going to sleep like at this point i didn't even give a fuck like i'm like going to sleep your turn off like good night so i wake up early as fuck and i'm like i need to get the fuck out of here like it was like 7 a.m and i was like um wake up i need my money like i need my 200 dollars that you owe me because you didn't have no place to wash your ass and you didn't have my gas money like you told me you was gonna give me gas money and you told me you was gonna pay for this room and get my money back so um so i'm like you know what he like half sleep he like Ugh. i'm like are you serious so i'm like you know what just cash app it to me goodbye so i left and then I call up the hotel we were staying at and I was like, hey, I'm not there anymore. Please don't use my card. I'm not there. Don't let anybody extend their stay. Don't charge nothing to my card because I'm not there. And they were like, okay, that's fine. Da, da, da. I was like, okay, thank you. And I really didn't give, nigga, didn't give me my money or not because I knew he probably wasn't because I didn't hear from him that day or the next day and i don't like shit like that like i don't like when niggas um like when you meet up with the nigga and then you leave from that nigga he don't check up on you to see if you made it home or anything like that and he didn't do none of that like but you know what i don't even care like bad shit is gonna happen to him like mm, i don't give me i don't even care like i wasn't even sweating at 200 dollars. it's just like don't be friend on the internet like you got some money and you don't got no money you don't even got money on you like what rich nigga don't got no money on him let alone what rich nigga carries only six hundred dollars with them nobody so i'm just like okay like god what are you doing like i but you know what i haven't even talked to no niggas for a minute now 
like and i'm just like i don't know i'm like it's getting cold outside or whatever like <laughs> And like I just want like a little boo thing. Like I don't even want a boyfriend. It's just like I want a little boo. But I don't want to rush nothing. Like <clears throat> cause I know me. Like once I get under once I get under a boy, it's just like I wanna be with them all the time. And I'm like really attached to them. And I don't want to get attached to nobody right now. I just wanna focus on y'all because y'all are what's important to me right now and that's just what i want to do but you know a girl has needs okay like <laughs> a girl has needs but it's all right because <laughs> because i know god is gonna look out for me you know okay so yeah so that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed because don't be letting these people on Instagram fool y'all because these niggas be friend. That's why you need to meet a motherfucker in person and you need to meet like if a nigga really is about what he's saying on portraying on the internet, he gonna prove it to you point blank period. Period. Like you ain't even finna be like questioning nothing. That nigga gonna make sure you know he got some money. Like you gonna know it. And if you don't, and if he don't do that, then fuck him with his friend tenaz. I don't like a friend ass nigga. Like, no, we not doing that in 2019, boo. Take that shit off the internet. You know you don't got no fucking money. Y'all, he really got me tight right now. No, I'm just saying. I don't even care to talk to him. Like, who cares? But, yeah. <sighs> so many niggas I like I don't even like meeting nobody on the internet no more like so many niggas be writing me on Instagram and I'm just like I go to their page and I'm like hmm no I don't know I don't know Lord just help me find a consistent boo with a vibe okay y'all I can want to tell y'all some stories about like who really been in my inbox but I can't just know you probably know them <laughs> all right y'all that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment subscribe i love y'all so much i'm about to get my ass in a bed it's gonna be one o'clock in the morning and i'm filming this for y'all and i'll probably be up in the morning so yeah <laughs> so yeah it's late and i'm about to go to sleep and i'll talk to y'all when this video goes up obviously because we finna be talking duh <laughs> okay bye y'all